Well, painting is probably the most ubiquitous medium in art and it's in a way the most unforgiving because everybody has had a go at painting since they were children and actually to rise above the great tide of you know, amateur painting really takes tremendous skill and um, intelligence and also I think of course reflecting a zeitgeist, a topicality and maybe doing something with a medium that we haven't seen before. So if anything of course there isn't one dominant style which you couldn't have said probably about even as recently as 20 years ago where there were very very specific movements I think we see a much more eclectic approach to painting um, and then one or two people have taken the big bold step of taking the painting off the wall and crumpling it up or putting it on the floor and that's exciting to see not many but there's a few well, um, well it's making me look I mean painting very rarely made me laugh yeah yes. and if, there were a couple that make me laugh and I think the ability to make someone laugh is quite good. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a neverless painter, so I hate everything. And, yeah, and the minimalist. minimalist works. That's so you good. like this one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I have to, I don't, I had to get into a state of my mind that I wasn't judging the people. <laughs> I wasn't judging the artists, I was judging one painting they've sent in you know and at this stage it was from probably from from a photograph so I'm normally on the other side you know I have been on the other side where you've sent slides of your pictures in or images of your paintings in and you often wondered how that what people do in that darkened room so <clears throat> and you can think that it's a, a conspiracy against you that you don't have a that you don't have a presence there but, but it's quite remarkable how how much of a presence some of the work has. I'm quite uh, shocked by how little of contemporary life actually appears in, not, not only in painting, in art in general to be quite honest. It's, uh, I mean the majority of paintings we're looking at you would think they could have been painted almost in a vacuum. Uh, it's quite quite extraordinary and maybe that you know you could say oh that there's, you would look for something with a social or maybe a political context or with a, um, a context which just acknowledged the real world around it but maybe maybe the fact that those things were avoided in quite a lot of the work we've been looking at is a, is a sort of political statement in itself.